Who's that down that base? What? Uh, Lester and I read a lot of teleprompter at our jobs, y'all. Sometimes I even end up reading it without thinking. Uh, just like the legendary anchorman, Mr. Ron Burgundy. Just look. I literally call myself Ron Burgundy because I say everything that's in the teleprompter. <laughs> you can just put anything in there and I read it. And future sexiest man alive. Oh wait, it's a question, because he's not yet. I am, what? <laughs> I'm Ron Burgundy, man. You put it in there, I'm gonna say it. I don't care, I'm just running with it. Rhonda Burgundy, don't Rhonda Burgundy, <laughs> Rhonda Burgundy. <laughs> yeah, last, yes, yes. I'm Ron Burgundy. I literally do anything they put in there. No shame. <laughs> oh, okay, fine. Uh, everyone to do the same? Yeah. Oh, encouraging us. <laughs> and people, that is just a third of the bloopers that we showed you. Uh, that's why this game is called I'm Ron Burgundy. <laughs> Here's how the game works. Lester and I have to read real news stories from the prompter. So these are real news stories. Um, these stories actually happened. No fake news here, people. The catch is we've never seen these stories. And my producers, who love to mess with me, have probably changed the words to make them harder to read. Thank you in advance. Each time we mess up or laugh, Oh man, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> we get a mark. Um, whoever has the lowest number of marks at the end of the game wins. Okay, Lester is playing for the men in the audience. I'm playing for the ladies. A super cool prize is on the line. Don't worry, ladies, I've got this. Lester, you're up first. <clears throat> okay, so read the prompter, it's cold. Absolutely, you've never seen it, I've never seen it. Good evening, a homeowner in Erie, Pennsylvania awoke at 3 a.m. to find a man drinking milk and singing in his kitchen. The man was on the kitchen floor, naked, as in birthday, uh, <laughs> as, in, as in wearing his birthday suit, stop, in the buck. <laughs> buck, <laughs> buck monkey, Starkers, bunga bunga, hot cross buns with a side of looky what we have here. Floating around in his own personal pool party, if you catch my drift. Naked, baked, beach bum, air drying, the old neighborly, how'd you do? He was a naturist. Naturist. <laughs> bear down there, like a grizzly bear doing the Care Bear Stare, a real frequent flyer just taking a short nacation. He had no clothes on, people. No injuries were reported, and it's not clear how the man entered the home or what his motive was. <laughs> I dare you to match it with that voice. Oh Wait, that was awesome. I had no idea. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> okay, whew, Meryl Streep. Good, all right. Got this, okay. All right. <clears throat> Lester made three mistakes, so my turn. Okay, here we go. This is my, this is my official. Let me take a, here we go. She's stalling. Yes, yes, okay, here we go. In Europe, a flock of farts forced a plane to take evasive action. A flight from Dubai to Amsterdam was rerouted after one passenger wouldn't stop baking air biscuits. The flatulent flyer caused a stink with his constant gas leak. His seatmates complained, uh, but the man merely replied, Don't, don't you. Mm -hmm. Oh, you did. <laughs> 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 the captain stopped in Vienna, where those who complained were removed, <laughs> allowing Farty McFarterson to continue toot toot tooting to the Netherlands. <laughs> I did well! You did, I did very, well! Very I have to say well. flatulence. Yours was harder. I wouldn't have gotten through flatulence. Yours was harder. <laughs> I was listening to your. Okay, after round one, Lester has three mistakes. I have one mistake. What's up, ladies? Okay, you're up again. All right, this one. Okay. Mm -hmm. In Portland, a goat busted into a 7-Eleven on Shoals Ferry Road. The bearded beast boogered by the Chalupa's big gulps and undulating footlongs in order to snack on some sour Skittles. What? One patron said, quote, dude, does not one realize that there's a real-life goat in here? No comment was given by the goat, although one might imagine the rainbow tasted like baba la 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 meek ba la wa 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 la 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 to the marauding animal. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. That was. Yours, yours are way harder. <laughs> well, I'm a trained professional. I, I know. I love that they're doing it to you. Okay. That was zero marks for Lester, which is amazing because we made him do it like a goat. Um, it's fine. My turn again. <clears throat> Here we go. An Alabama fugitive who allegedly fed methamphetamine <laughs> to his pet squirrel named Deez Nuts. <laughs> 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 
You could have through flatulence, but you couldn't do knees nuts. Deez nuts. Deez nuts. <laughs> Deez nuts. Named Deez nuts is being charged with a state wildlife offense. Um, offense. <laughs> I'm not playing sports ball. She's skimming the trees, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah, shoot. Okay. The man did not deny housing a nut-loving gnar, but did deny he fed the little guy meth to turn him into an attack squirrel. This is a real story? <laughs> that just hit me. I want to punish that man. Okay. When asked about the animal, the man said he'd had the squirrel since it was a baby and would never give D's nuts drugs. Reporters found D's nuts unavailable for comment. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> D's nuts. <laughs> I'm still 15. It doesn't matter. Okay, the score is now. Let's start with three mistakes and me with six mistakes. Whatever. That means the winner is Lester. <laughs> I'm not a poor sport. <laughs> no, Lester's the winner. So as as well as all the what? Oh, see, that happened to me again. Okay. Uh, it just happened. They moved. They changed it. You need me to okay. read this? No, they just changed it on me. She wants to as say, as well, well as, as all the men, men in the house seats. <laughs> as well as D's Nuts, you're all getting a giveaway. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, including D's Nuts. Epson Eco Tank printers are an innovative cartridge free solution that use high capacity, easily refillable ink tanks instead of expensive cartridges, which makes this an ideal everyday printer for families. And everyone in our audience is getting one. Burr, 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 burr. Even these nuts. <laughs> and because Lester won, his photo will be hung on the Blake Shelton Wall of Champions who beat Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> no one likes that wall, so whatever. Be sure to watch Lester anchoring NBC Nightly News, Dateline, and NBC Nightly News Kids Edition on NBC.com. Want more fun stuff? I thought so. Check out these videos floating around my head. This one is really cool, I'm just saying. No pressure.